Hey Gemini, this is your Mercury Retrograde reading. I decided to pull these for you guys. We're in the shadow period right now with Mercury Retrograde. It starts on Saturday <clears throat> next weekend. So I thought it would be good to get a message out surrounding energies and stuff like that coming at you during this period of weird exes returning and strange communication and lines getting crossed, things like that. And as soon as I pulled that, I pulled the conversation card for you. Everybody want to be coming back during retrograde to have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And it's the worst time to do it usually because people don't always get out the words that they mean to get out. They don't say what they mean to say. It gets crossed. We've got faithfulness, sorrow, old woman, and enemy. <clears throat> the old woman card gives me like hermit vibes. It's a wise, wise sage person, okay? You might need to be having a heart to heart with one of those people. There's definitely an energy of somebody walking away in this situation. Um, and I get it. It's, a, it's an ego trip with them. I feel like they're their own worst enemy. All right. In the middle of it all, you got faithfulness, which is like this loyal dog. Like somebody is loyal to this situation big time. Somebody walked away and the other person's heartbroken about it. There's a conversation that needs to be had, but it needs to be had from a wise grounded hermit type energy like talking to your nana you know not like talking to your lover or something like that all right guys i'm gonna pull a celtic cross for you guys thank you so much for subscribing and tuning in and doing all that good stuff gemini's you're one of my top watchers and i really appreciate it so if you haven't subscribed yet please click that little button for me so i can keep this channel going as long as i got people watching i'll stay here and give out messages all day long so I'm going to pull your Celtic cross with the um, Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot. See what's coming at you, what's in the past, what's coming towards you. Hopes, fears, expected outcome given the general energies surrounding you right now. And then we're going to clarify it using the Nefertiti Tarot, which is this Egyptian tarot with the Eye of Ra on the back. They're these shiny, golden, really pretty cards. My lighting's a little wonky in here. Let's see, let's get to the heart of the matter for my Geminis here. What's going on with you guys during this Mercury retrograde period? Heart of the matter. Seven of Pentacles. Wanting to start over with something. Wanting to um, plant a seed of something. You're wanting to get somebody's attention. You're wanting to start building on something. What's crossing you though is the Knight of Pentacles. It's going slow as molasses and you feel like you're getting some kickback or you're not getting the cooperation you need. It's not moving the way you wanted it to. Past, we've got six of swords. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a bitty tarot girl. I always say that. I'm not going to say you sailed away into calmer waters in the past. No, you did some, you're doing some healing. You're trying to sew something back up. Um, Something was taken away and it left a hole and you're trying to patch up that hole is what I'm getting in the past. Again, I'm going to pull clarifiers to make these make sense. Three of candles. Yeah, you're stuck on which direction to go here, okay? You're not quite sure how to start on this slow moving Knight of Pentacles journey and Seven of Pentacles wanting to work on something. Coming up, you got Page of Swords. Immature energy, okay? Immature energy. I don't like that. Um, and still being chained to something that's not healthy. All right. I don't read, I don't read keywords. I read the art. You see the little handcuff here that's, you know, chaining these demons to whatever this pot is. It's being stuck. It's the ability to, um, know you need to get out of a sticky situation, but not knowing how to take the steps to do so. You got the six of cups and things you don't want to think about. You don't want to think about the past. You don't want to rehash old memories. You don't want to bring up stuff, you know, that you believe was dead and gone and over with. You don't want to open up the old wound is what I'm hearing. Energy you can control is the four of swords energy. The ability to think and reflect. All right. What did I say about coming at this conversation from a hermit-like attitude? You need to think before you speak here, Gemini. It is retrograde. I'm telling you, people are going to accidentally say things they don't mean to say. You got justice and things that are out of your control. You want somebody coming in speaking some clarity. You want somebody to come in and um, right the wrongs. I feel like this person is on a soapbox. I'm getting a lack of accountability from them. Because they're preaching to nobody. 
They're not preaching to anybody. There's just like shadows around here. This person, I feel like, ugh. They're talking, but they're not being heard. I had to clarify that to see more about that. Um, hopes and fears, the world. And I always pay attention. I'm like, the world is the ending of a cycle and the starting of a new one. No, see all these trees? Jack's got to decide which one of these, you know, does he want to go into spooky Halloween land? Does he want to go into lovey-dovey Valentine's land? Does he want it to be Christmas every day? You got to you choose your own adventure card. Like, you need to make a choice. And it's on your mind. You're wanting to go down a new path with whatever this is. I see it. You're just getting some pushback for whatever reason. Page of potions. Page of cups energy coming up in the future. Look how he's got his eyes sewn shut though, okay? Whenever I see this, you know, they'll tell you, Biddy Tarot, Page of Cups is about making a small offer in love, taking the first steps. No, this person's got his eyes shown shut. Sewn shut. Say that three times fast. <laughs> it's like they're kind of wanting to ignore ignore that for now. Ignore the love for now. Ignore this small offer. Or I'm also getting the energy that if the offer isn't big enough, they're not going to pay any attention to it. Or you're not going to pay any attention to it. Again, energy. this is energy that's surrounding you. So it could be the energy that you're giving off or the energy that your person's giving off. You got four of wands on the bottom of the deck, though. You're seeing it as a stable connection. You're seeing it as something that could be good, that could be fruitful. Let me clarify for you guys. What's this eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles about in the center of the reading for my Geminis? Chariot. You're wanting to really move on this, like big time. You're wanting to start this up. You're wanting to get it started is what I see. You want to plant the seeds like yeah i feel like you just want you want to get in somebody's ear you got some stuff that you want to tell them yeah knight of pentacles queen of pentacles the knight of pentacles is crossing you but it's also in the heart of your matter this gives me the energy that both of you want to like heal this but you're both just dragging your feet on it for whatever reason This is your like your energy. I read art. You see how she's pushing away this night? She's got her hands up. She's like, whoa, 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 slow down. Slow down. It's like you've been calling it in. You've been wanting, you know, to move forward with this, but you're also pushing it away somehow. What a Gemini move to have such conflicting energy right there. Let's try to figure out what's going on with that. Let's see. Maybe it has something to do with this six of swords in the recent past. Why is this six of swords here? I see a gaping wound that needed to be sewed up. I see people retreating to their corners to heal. I use that example in somebody else's reading today, like your boxers that, you know, have to return to your corner. You got moon energy here. Yeah, something was brought up and it sent y'all off in two different directions. I feel like it happened around the last full moon. I'm getting that energy. That was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, something definitely came to light here that uh, ripped somebody open big time. Can I get some more clarifiers on that? I want some more understanding about why the moon and the six of swords is here. It definitely caused a rift and it caused y'all to go in separate directions and turn your backs on each other. Two of Pentacles. I always look at it in this card because, you know, I read the art. I don't use the Bitty Tarot keywords. I'm not going to say you were juggling. No, there's three people in this two card. All right. There was some kind of outside energy that was affecting this. I do read third party with this, even though it's a two of pentacles. I'm reading a third party situation here. I am. I think somebody found out about it and got brought to light. Problem is they don't want to... <laughs> They don't want to, you know, y'all don't want to let go of each other is what I'm getting. You don't want to let go of each other, but you're also sketch about taking somebody back that cheated on you or, or considered somebody else instead of you. I don't know if they actually cheated, but there was definitely some kind of third party energy here throwing things off that really hurt the other person. Why is this three of candles here? Three of candles, ten of wands, eight of cups. Knight of Wands. Yeah, walking away from this like is way too painful for you, okay? I feel like you've put in so much effort with this person. You've put in so much effort that like the thought of starting off on a new journey with somebody else is like too much to bear, all right? 
I feel like you've been faithful. You've been there. You know, you're mad that this person did not choose you fully in the past and you're not ready to give up on it. This isn't one of those like, well, F you, if you don't pick me, I'm going to go find somebody else. No, it's too hard to let this person go for some reason. What's with this page of needles coming up in the future? Why is this page of swords energy here in the future? But the high priestess was strength. Hmm. I see. It's really, really hard to talk about this. Okay. Really hard. Really, really hard to talk about this, but your intuition is telling you there's just unfinished business right now. There's unfinished business. There's still a need to gather more information on the subject. Um, I get a jumping to conclusions vibe in the past that maybe somebody jumped to a conclusion and thought there was a third party involved um, because they weren't getting the type of reciprocity that they wanted. They weren't feeling like they were on equal footing. Um, I do see somebody um, with a little bit of an immature energy that is now going to really tune into their intuition and, and come from a place of logic and strength and feeling and, you know, not ego that makes people jump to conclusions and think the worst out of a situation. What's up with this Knight of Pentacles crossing the reading? For my Geminis. Why is the Knight of Pentacles crossing the reading for my Geminis? Four of Swords. It's crossing you because as much as you want to make up with this person, you're still just so in your head about it. You think people are going to think you're stupid if you try to like work it out is what I feel like. Or you're going to feel stupid for trying to work this out. I A lot of negative self-talk and doubting in this situation. You got to have faith that this is going to work out. We got faithfulness as one of your cards. Like have faith, you know. Have faith that this person can be as loyal as you can. And there's a need for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation from a logical, rational standpoint and not from an emotional one, okay? I get the own worst enemy vibes from your Oracle card. I feel like somebody might be in their head about this and like is making up or setting it up to fail, self-sabotaging this relationship. Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here at the bottom of this reading? Six of Cups is clarified by the Hangman. They're not wanting to see things for what they are, all right? The Six of Cups is like a warm, friendly, fuzzy energy about being in love and nostalgic about it and how beautiful it is and how sweet and innocent. And, and <coughs> someone's not wanting to see it that way. They're refusing to look at it this way. It's either you or your person. Man, I'm getting a huge self-sabotage vibe here. Own worst enemy. I don't like it. What's clarifying this four of swords? The star and three of wands. All right, you've had double four of swords, double three of wands now. And now you've got the star popping up. Like, if this is in your control is to get out of your head about this and just go ahead and make a move and manifest whatever you, it is you want. Heal this all up. <coughs> you got to stop. Whoever's doing this negative self-talk in this connection needs to stop. Whoever sabotaging this and um, running from it or or pushing it away because they're making up reasons why it can fail in their head needs to cut that out right now. What's this justice? This makes more sense now with this outside energy. I feel like there's an energy of somebody being accused of something they didn't do. Um. Throwing out like wild stories, like create making stuff up in your head. It's kind of like, I'm going to sabotage this and leave you before you can leave me. And like making up little things to pick at, to ruin this connection. It's clarified by the Emperor, the Tower, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like uh, the outside, the energy, the king, somebody did come in truthfully, like Emperor style, to this relationship wanting to start something up. And they're, they're getting treated, you know, unjustly. Somebody's being treated unjustly. They're not getting a fair shake. 
and it's causing this tower moment that's being brought in. But the tower, I feel like this is a tower moment that is self-imposed. This isn't like a tower moment that the universe is bringing in to right some wrong. This is a self-imposed tower moment because somebody is self-sabotaging. Why is the world here in hopes and fears? Why is the world here for the hopes and fears for Gemini? King of Pentacles and King of Swords. Two kings. Somebody doesn't want to talk about their own insecurities and instabilities and put an end to it, okay? Somebody's lacking self-esteem in this situation and a, and a sense of self-worth. Um, I get a not worthy feeling or feeling like good things don't happen to them or they don't deserve it. They're not wanting to speak truthfully that, you know, they do deserve to be in a stable relationship. It scares them. It scares them to hold on to something and be stable and be truthful about their feelings with somebody because every time they do, it comes to an end and they got to choose another path, this world energy. So what's up with this page of cups and the final outcome? You got two, you know, page and knight of cups coming. Y'all do want to work on this, both of you, I feel like. What's with this page of cups? Anything else? We got the Ace of Cups and the Sun. If someone can just get out of this stupid energy of self-sabotaging this, y'all are like happily ever after. I mean, the Sun is the happiest thing card in the deck. And the Ace of Cups, that's like a brand new, fresh start, beginning, super lovey-dovey relationship, okay? But somebody is self-sabotaging and ruining this. And I don't like that kind of energy. They're being hesitant about it. They're making up things. They're treating the other person unjustly. Whoever that is needs to give the other person the benefit of the doubt and give this a try because you're creating a tower moment that's going to destroy this whole thing and not allow it to be rebuilt is what I'm getting. All right, Gemini, that's what I got for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section if anything resonated. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all of that good stuff for me so I can keep this channel up and running. There is information in the description box below about how to donate to the channel if you're into it. Love you guys so much. Thanks for being one of my top watchers. I'll see you next time. I'll be doing you versus them reading sometime this week. Thanks, Gemini.